Hello and welcome. Today I will show you how you can submit your own funding proposal to Cubic entirely on your own, even if you've never used Command Prompt or GitHub. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need support from any developers or computers to do this. If you are new to Cubic, let me explain in simple terms. If you want to build something for the project, improve it, or offer a service, you can ask Cubic Protocol to fund you. Anyone can submit a proposal, but you have to convince Cubic community and validators, also called computers, that your proposal is worth the amount you're asking for. There are three major steps in this process. First is writing your proposal. Second is sharing it with the community for feedback. And third, submitting it to vote by computers. Let's go through each one step by step. Step one, write your proposal. Start by writing your proposal in a clear and structured format. The very first paragraph should summarize your proposal in few sentences. This paragraph should give anyone a quick understanding of what you're asking and why. Use a standard structure to make it easier for others to read. You can find the sample in the description below the video. Keep your wording formal and to the point. You don't need to add flair. What matters is the clarity and the solid plan. Step 2. Post the proposal to GitHub. Now we convert your proposal into GitHub-friendly format. GitHub uses a special file format with MD extension, short for Markdown. To convert your text file or a Word file into Markdown format, we will take the easy way. Open ChatGPT. Paste your proposal and use the prompt in the description below the video. ChatGPT will give you a new version of your text, properly formatted. Save that file. Now go to github.com and create an account if you don't already have one. Once logged in, click on your profile icon, your repositories, new. Give the repository name related to your proposal. Click add file and then upload files. Drag and drop the file ChatGPT generated for you earlier. Click Commit Changes. Now, this bit is important. After uploading, open the file in GitHub and press the Y key on your keyboard. This locks the URL as the permanent link. Keep the GitHub proposal open in one of the tabs. You'll need it for the next step. Step 3. Share on Discord for community feedback. Join the official Cubic Discord. The invite link is in the video description. First, you want to post your idea into Proposals General section to see the initial reaction to your idea by the community. Once you are ready to officially post your proposal, contact an admin and ask to open the thread for your proposal discussion. Once it is created, introduce yourself and paste your full proposal. Ask the admin to pin it so others can find it easily. You need the discussion open for at least one week. This gives people time to discuss and give feedback. Be ready to defend your proposal because the community will put it under magnifying glass and critique it. They won't hold back. I suggest posting it up for discussion on Wednesday. It's when the epoch changes. And putting it up for voting on Friday the same week. Step 4. Submit the proposal for voting. This part involves a bit of a technical work, but don't worry. Just follow what I'm doing on the screen and it will be easy. We will use a tool called Cubic Command Line Client, CLI. First, download the CLI client. There is a link in the description below the video. Click cubiccli.exe and save it to your downloads folder. Two, open command prompt. Click on the start menu, type CMD. Press enter to confirm. A black window will open and that's your command prompt. 3. Navigate to the Downloads folder. Open your Downloads folder in File Explorer. Click the address bar and copy the full path. In command prompt typed cd space and then paste the address. For me it looks like this. 4. 
test the CLI tool. Let's first find an IP of the node you'll be communicating with. Go to the list of live nodes. Find the link in the description below the video. Just press sign in on the screen. And you'll see a list of nodes, so quickly copy one of the IP addresses. Once you have the IP address, run this command in the command prompt cubic-cli.exe dash node IP, then paste the address you have copied, dash get current tick. If you see similar output and no error, it's working. 5. Build the command to submit proposal. Open Notepad and write the following. You can copy the string from the description below the video. I copy my seed from my wallet and paste it after dash seed. I copy the IP address of the node I saw in the command prompt and I paste it after dash node IP. I paste in my public key. I use the same wallet to receive the funds from which I am making the request. I type in the amount of cubic I am requesting. Let's say it's 8,000. And finally, I paste the GitHub link to my proposal. Final check. Before you send the command, double check every part, but especially the requested cubic amount. Make sure to count those zeros. If all looks good, hit enter to execute the command. You should receive a confirmation message in the command prompt. It will include a transaction hash. Copy that and let's plug it into the Cubic Explorer to see if the transaction went through. Your wallet balance will drop by 1 million cubic. Your proposal should appear online within about 5 minutes. I have the link to the live proposals in the video description below. And that's it! You have just submitted a Cubic funding proposal, all by yourself, from start to finish, no developers, no computer assistance. Congratulations!